Hello everyone, this is me Anmol and uh, welcome to another book review. And the book review uh, today I'm going to do is the review of a book, Immortals of Malua. I was pretty excited to read this book, and uh, this is a book by Amish, and uh, it is the it's the first book of the Shiva tri- uh, trilogy. So let's get to this book. This book portrays the Indian god Shiva and his journey from being a simple man, a warrior, and a clan leader to a Nilkant and a Mahadev. Uh, basically, this book uh, is a complex mix of complete mix of uh, myths and uh, logics. Uh, what are the beliefs of Indian culture and how they are implicated? How they are implemented uh, logically? The imagination of the author is quite unbelievable. I can understand that this is a very sensitive issue in uh, India, but man, what a book! Uh, there was a complete logic to each and everything in the book, uh, in the mythological stuff. The persons who are into the mythological stuff, like the Greek stuff, uh, this one, the Indian mythological stuff, and it was a very good one. The story is a period tale and. Uh, it starts from 1900 BC. Uh, there are logic givens uh, which I have mentioned earlier, and the imagination of the author is very good. Uh, the logics were uh, some of the logics that I read were very good. Uh, although I must say you that uh, this is not exactly how our Indian religious uh, told the story. Uh, this is completely a fiction of the author. Uh, and completely good fiction, I would say. So, some of the uh, logics were given how the Om symbol is uh, created, what is the Somras, uh, means uh, the nectar which you can say, uh, the gods uh, drink which were there, uh, who were the Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh, how the Indus Valley civilization worked. These were the some of the logics which uh, were pretty good written and uh, all the characters is used in uh, Shiva tale like Nandi and uh, Daksh, Sati, how Sati is called Parvati and each and everything. Basically uh, the story continues with the rights and wrong of the society and the love story of Shiva and Sati and how they came together and uh, how the story goes on. I don't want to spoil that. Some benefits were that the story was very good and some uh, demerits you can say or the cross you can say is that the writing was original. I can totally relate to that because uh, the, it was the first book by the Amish and the author needs some time to evolve. And this is not the first time I have read a uh, author with his first book with the bad writing and they evolve uh, eventually with the, each of their novel and uh, apart from that everything was relevant to the story no extra description in the location locales each and everything uh, i am a big devoter of lord shiva myself to read him in a different way was wow for me and uh, I must say, I was very amazed. The characters like Nandi, Virbhatra, Sati, Daksh, Braspati, how they were portrayed differently as a common man and uh, what was the beauty of this, it was heads up. I'm looking forward to its ne- uh, next part, which I have already started to read. Uh, it is uh, The Secret of Naga and uh, I'll share uh, the reviews for that as well. Thanks for watching. If you have any query, just let me know. Thanks for that.